Tacoma Narrow Breeze was the third longest suspension breeze in 1940 and the current fifth longest breeze of United States. It was built on a cost of $6 million, collapsed in three months after it was opened for public just by a wind of 56 km per hour. What was the reason of collapse? Comment your answer in the comment box. You might have known by now what we are going to discuss today. Yes, about the breezes. We see different types of breeze around us like beam breeze, suspension breeze, arch breeze and truss breeze. The key difference between the four breezes comes down to the length they can cross in a single span which is the distance between two bridge support. Modern beam bridges, for instance, are likely to span up to 200 feet, while the modern arch bridge can safely cross 800 to 1000 feet. Suspension bridges are capable of extending from 2000 to 7000 feet. So today we are going to make our own beam bridge of a span of 30 cm with popsicle stick and we will taste the strength of the breeze. So the supply we need today are Let's start making our beam breeze. Regardless of structure, every breeze must stand strong under two important forces, tension and compression. Let us understand about tension. What happens to the rope during a game of tug of war? Correct, it undergoes tension from two sweaty opposing teams pulling on it. This force acts on the bridge structure, resulting in tensional stress. Now, 
we will discuss about compression. What happens when you push down on a spring and collapse it? That's right. You compress it and by squeezing it, you shorten its length. Compressional stress therefore is the opposite of tensional stress. That's all for today's video. We'll meet in the next video with other types of bris. If you like the video, please press the like button, comment and share with your friends. Subscribe to our channel Stay with Rahul to stay updated with all the latest video. Like our Facebook page Stay with Rahul. Bye bye. Jai Hind.